<laughs> growing up where you were born, went to school. Talk to us about that. Oh. That's a long time ago, yes. Yeah. But yes, I went to um, Molo Primary School. Mm -hmm. That was way back in the 70s. Um, and then uh, did my is it standard eight, seven at the time. It used to be standard seven. We never used to have standard eight. Right. Um, and then joined the Kenya High School in 1974. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Kenya so High School. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. So from 74 in form one all the way to uh, form six, which I finished in 79. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I was there for six years. Right. Then joined Kenyatta University. Mm -hmm. Yep, um, for a three year. Remember at the time it used to be a three year um, university program. From there I did um, a one year in France, uh, my French teacher. Mm -hmm. um, and then started work, Kipsigis High School. I uh, was the first French teacher there. Did Why that French? Why French? Yeah. Yes. Well, that's what I'd done it um, first in the high school and then at university. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I started it as a, as a course and uh, it did very well for the few that were able to, you know, to, <laughs> to go up to the end. And, um, and then from there, I've around um, 90s, yeah. in the 90s now, I um, applied and got a scholarship to uh, through the British Council mm -hmm. uh, to do my master's in, in the, uh, Reading University in the UK mm -hmm. and it's after, that, after my master's that I, I joined Egerton University as an assistant lecturer right. and sort of rose through the ranks and um, uh, you know uh, in the early 2000 about 2002, 2003 went back again to the UK to do my PhD yeah. uh, in University of Hull and uh, soon after I got back, that was in uh, 2006, I uh, taught for about a year after my PhD. Mm. And that's when the, the tragedy happened and, um, as you said, jolted Politics. into the political yeah. <laughs> landscape. Yes. But all this while growing up, I mean, yes. you got into teaching and in, yes. uh, in your university and, you know, getting your uh, education even overseas. What is it you wanted to become? What is it you wanted to do? Teaching? Was that your passion from the very beginning? Yes, actually. Yeah. yeah. It, it really was my passion from, from the beginning. And, I, and up to now, I really still think uh, I'm a pretty good teacher. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> I don't like the marking part of it, especially in university when you have piles and piles of, of, of scripts to mark. Right. But the teaching part, I, I really do enjoy it. Yeah, so r really, even uh, at the time of, um, you know, uh, after the, my PhD, I was re really looking forward now to, you know, getting settled in the university, you know, uh, community and uh, preparing myself maybe to get a professorship and, uh, you know, move up the ranks. Yeah. So that was my plan, but of course, in God's plans, you know, there all of us, other things, things yes, now. yes. So for you, looking at all of this, um, growing up, especially with your sister, yes, was it yes. just your sister? Who else? You yes, have other yes. siblings? Yes, yes, yes. We actually had a, a, a family of uh, mainly girls. So oh. we had four girls and two, two, two brothers. Yeah. I've uh, since lost one of the brothers and of course my late sister Lorna. Yeah. So we, we, are, we are pretty much, you know, you know the, 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 the girl child in, in, in my family was really the dominant one, the the dominant. right from my mother, you know, who was a, a former um, councillor, elected and nominated. So really the politics side of, of things in my family really came from my mother.